So it's one, two, three, kid versus Marty Janetti. I got plenty of time. It was very good, but it was also weird. Uh, I laughed early when they did like a, an RVD or Will Osprey style big high spot into a double kip up and 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 and, and face off. And Bobby Heenan buries him for just being a couple of dancers out there. <laughs> wow. You know, it's funny when I was watching this match, like Vince McMahon on commentary goes, they were, they're they uh, going over the card at the beginning of the show, and he mentions Marty Jannetty versus the one 2 3 and he goes, it's going to be a hell of a matchup. Maybe he didn't say hell, but he was very excited about the matchup. <laughs> it's, it's just funny because, like, there's this idea that Vince doesn't like wrestling. But what it really is is, you know, he was, during the Attitude Era, he realized that, you know, all of this stuff and the women and the violence and all that, that's in short segments and crash TV. But Vince has always liked wrestling. The thing is, he only likes a certain style of wrestling. But he put the one, two, three kid and Marty Jannetty in the ring for like 14 minutes. Yeah. It was a long match. And they're two baby faces, and it wasn't like there was a rivalry or anything. It was just like, seems like it's a good matchup. And he put him in the ring together. Now, there was a story, which had nothing to do with them, which was before the match, Johnny Polo had done a, a promo, which, by the way, the future Raven. Yeah. This promo was an atrocity. <laughs> it was so horrible. <laughs> As he's explaining that he could beat both of these guys. And so they do this long match. It's holds, it's high flying, and it's grappling, and and the whole nine yards. And the finish is fantastic. As uh, Marty's outside the ring, and the one, two, three kid's gonna wipe him out with a running cannonball through the ropes. Tope. So uh, Johnny Polo's on the outside. The referee's taking a bump, and and one, two, three kid goes running, and Johnny Polo. Here's the spot. Johnny Polo shoves Marty out of the way, and the one, two, three kid crashes, and they both get counted out, okay? But he shoves Marty, who fucking flies sideways oh, yeah. into the post and fucking helicopters in the air down to the ground. Yes. The one, two, three kid just dives into a pool with no water, and he fucking crashes on the ground. Yeah. I'm howling. It's like <laughs> these two fuckers decided who can take the most horrific bump for Johnny fucking Polo. And he's out there laughing and he's counting with the referee and the ref counts him out. And then he laughs his way out. And of course they beat his ass afterwards and double team him. And it's a bunch of stupid, goofy selling. But I was just watching this going. Everything about this is fucking, it's the twilight zone. Raven here as Johnny Polo in a fucking sailor hat. One, two, three, kid versus Marty Jannetty for 14 minutes in a technical classic on Raw with Vince doing commentary. This preposterous finish where they both tried to fucking kill themselves. For what? I don't know. And then beating up Polo afterwards, and his selling is just, it's over-the-top ridiculous. Like, they did some move, and he's got to grab his balls and do the thing where you lay on your back and you bounce like this, holding your balls. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh. So when I first saw this finish, I immediately saw one, two, three kids bump, and I screamed. A big, giant, flying, flipping, flat back bump to the floor. Oh, Jesus Christ, is this Darby Allen's dad? Is this where is this where the gene pool is that how it's passed down? And I went back to rewatch it, and the first time, I actually didn't even see Marty because they're at, it's at the same time, and Marty's in the background. So that's how I missed it. But once you see it, you can't unsee it because you were correct. He jumped as high as he could. He hit this post as hard as he could. He spun around in the air several times like a frisbee and crashed to earth. All to set up a double count out at the hands of Johnny Polo. And the weirdest thing is they beat him up afterwards. So there's really no need for any kind of follow up or lead well, to any kind of match. Well, there is. I, 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 spoiler, I spoiler, Johnny Polo is the manager of the Tag Team Champions. Okay. So he's going to send his champions after these two hooligans. Boy, I can't wait to see that match. <laughs> these two dorks beat each other and lost. I can't wait to see them get a tag team title match. I liked the whole thing, though. I mean, it was, I was so weird. But I it was, was greatly it was, entertained it for 15 minutes. It certainly was not boring. It, it was. It was. I got to find this Johnny Polo 
promo. Okay, you look for that. This is how the show begins, really. Asuka does a back kick. Camera cut. She does a back fist. Camera cut. She starts to run. Camera cut. She hits a hip attack. Camera cut. She drops to her knees. Camera cut. She throws a kick. Camera cut. She stands up and screams. Camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious. Do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.